The derivative of the inverse sine function is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. But where does this come from? Let's prove it. We'll start by taking the sine of both sides. The intention is clear. Sine and arcsine are inverse functions, so they'll cancel each other out. We'll now take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. The derivative of sine y is cosine y, but let's not forget the chain rule. y is a function of x, so we'll have to multiply by dy by dx. The derivative of x is just 1. We can now solve for dy by dx by dividing both sides by this cosine y. And now we're pretty much done, except we want this to be a function of x only. We don't want to see any y's on the right-hand side of this equation. We can actually represent cosine y purely in terms of x, because remember, sine y equals x, and cosine y and sine y are related by the famous Pythagorean identity. So, replacing sine y by x, we can solve for cosine y. Take x squared to the other side, and then take the square root of both sides with the plus or minus, of course. Now, do we need both the positive and negative versions of the square root? y is the input of cosine, but remember, y is defined as arc sine x, and the range of the arc sine function is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. The cosine is positive on this interval, so we don't actually need the negative square root. So, with this, we're done.